Hello guys, Sleepy Frog 12 here. We're back again with mission number five of Act Number Two of Act Two. Don't want to say number because then you get confused. Mission number five of Act Two. Uh, we're back, and of course, if you want to see the mission briefing from this episode, go back last episode, go to the very end, and you'll find it. Let's go rescue prisoner six two seven. I'm not gonna tell you who it is unless you just don't want to be spoiled. Blah blah blah. Why does his hair look so freaky? His hair is see through. That's cool. I wonder if you jump on their wing, would it like tilt them? I think I said, I did play this before, I wonder if, uh, I don't know if I answered it or not, but like if you jump on their wing, are you are you heavy enough to like make it tilt like the Hulk or something? But, whatevs. So, let's rescue prisoner number 627 and mission the Gulag. All right, let's do this. I stepped on my mic again, but I didn't rip it off my face like I do every other time. There's so many enemies here. I'm a sniper. I'm gonna kill those guys. Get off there, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Going down. Shepard, get those fighters to cease fire immediately. That was too close. I'll try to buy you some time. One man in a gulag doesn't mean much to the Navy at this point. Bloody yanks. I thought they were the good guys. Go to the chair. Stay frosty. Who was the one talking? He's like, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. He's like, man, I these guys are on our side. Cut the chair off. Meanie. He's a meanie. He's a meanie, Mario. He has no idea. So watch how powerful these tubes are. Bam! Just killed him from like way up there. I mean, probably how it'd be in real life. I mean, but I mean, come on. People want people play video games. They want to, you know, have a fair chance. I mean, like literally everybody uses tubes on multiplayer. If you don't use tubes, it's probably because you're using shotgun or you ran up attached attachment. Half their, half their army who want to Wow, these guys are bad. Ow. Maybe not. Look at that front number. Oh, the intel. Uh it's over here then. It, there's a place you gotta step up on stairs, and then... Is there a weapon in here? That'd be cool if there's a secret weapon in here. Oh yeah, it is here. Okay, stairs. Cool. I don't want that shotgun, because there's not gonna be any place to use your sniper down in the caves. I'm gonna swap it out again anyways, so I mean... Okay, it's not there. Whatever, I'll take this. So it's somewhere in here, in in this. I'm pretty sure it's like somewhere up there, but it's in the it's in up here in this building. So the FAMAS is a three shot, pretty cool. It was an OP weapon in there. This another weapon you could use that was like super OP. See, I mean, it's like super accurate, and you could just if you have a trigger finger, it's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty much if you hit all three of your shots, you got them. Oh, hey. Oh, I thought, I thought I missed an intel. Um, I don't know if there's one in here. Just check around here. If you actually come back to do this, try to get Platinum Trophy like I have in here. Just come back for it. I'm about to have... Uh, I, I have to do the Modern Warfare 3 perhaps, mission walkthrough. Like, I have to do with the rest of them. And I also got the DLC recently because somebody... Uh, bought it for me, so I mean I'm gonna do one on that. Oh Jesus! Here, I'll let you have grenade too. Darn it! Darn it! Never hit if I wanted to. Why? Are you... Seriously? Uh, 
Alright, let me load that. Shotguns are OP too, because I mean, look at that. Look how far I'm hitting him. And then it was also counted as a secondary weapon, which it, it does seem ridiculous, but I mean, back at the time, it did kind of make sense. But I mean, it's like you could either, either secondaries or you could run around with your fucking. And there's one, there's an intel somewhere in one of these rooms, so check out like every room. I know it's like one of these rooms at the door, so I think it's the next one, but I mean, it, it could be this one, I don't know. It's on like one of the chests or th things. Not chests, I mean like. Maybe it's that one I just shot at. Nope, it's okay, it was that one, I guess. Maybe. Alright, so we're gonna grab a shield. Ooh, man, see anything you like. Ooh, shotgun. I want to grab a shotgun. I can just do dual with pistols all the time. Yeah, I just don't know how I'm going to aim. To get it real up close and personal. Where? I'm getting shot from nowhere. Be advised. You got more tangos headed your way. We're gonna need more cover. Grab a riot shield. Yeah, but it did have a I just realized it does have a limit on how fast you can shoot. It's not like you just keep tapping it in sight. It's not like the freaking Chicom, like in. Hey, look at that! I think it was like the you have to kill three different weapons, three enemies with three different weapons. Look at that! Now this is a place you could do. I got you an achievement locker as well. Whoa! I can't. Oh my god! There's so many keys. Right, so let's go. Yeah, I know. Get off, Jester. Oh my god, no way! Yeah, there's an achievement if you kill... I mean, the, the, the achievements in this game are pretty easy. Like, it's super easy to get an achievement in this game. Like, you can go through one mission get an achievement. Go through, like, another act to get an achievement. You just kill somebody with the riot shield get an achievement. Either in Spec Ops or in... So, in campaign. I, d I just did it again. Okay, I'm done using shield. I'm used to, like, having the shield, like, in multiplayer where it's like if you if they hit your shield it's not gonna kill you but in, multi in campaign they whack your shield you're dead now right, let's get the shotgun I had steady aim that's how I used to run all the time oh, okay it was in here I believe no I don't know what I did was I run steady aim with this uh this freaking thing oh yeah you believe you could hold dual wield UMPs bumps like in modern 15 it, it was so weird even I never used it in there, but then when I looked at it, I'm like, wow, that is freaky. I think you do do it with this too. And MP5Ks. It, it was like the weirdest weapons you could do wield with, like the dual wield shotgun model 1887s. Wish they would have kept that, but you have like no attachments in Mario for three. Gonna spam this. This gun was super OP in the game because, like, you know, uh. So many, it's like having an LMG in the SMG form. Alright, so I think I killed everyone here. So this is, a, this is LMG. You just have to aim, so as soon as you come around the corner, you don't have to aim and you're just good to go. Where? Oh, the fire. You say grab his striker? Oh, Jesus. It's gonna take forever to reload this. I think it has a little bit more bullets than in Modern for 3. The maximum amount. See, I can either go close up or I can do long range 
bom. Oh, jeez. Instead of, uh, you know, doing this, they could tired drum mech come out with fast reloading. I bet they made it like that in real life. I wish I could kept my M4 and I could just grenade launcher. Put that back. Lol. I got oh frick. For Spec Ops, the world records like 10 seconds because all they did was they grab on veteran, of course. They grabbed the shield and they just ran through with and got lucky not getting shot. Uh. And it was pretty pretty insane when they did that. And I got close to it too. I got like 20 seconds. I, I ran in. I was just like, ah! I came in, rushed through. I think I played solo, but when I did it. Bloody Yanks. Thought they were the good guys. There we go. Oh no. Stop pointing those things at me. Right after you finished here, that was the end of the mission. Pretty short. It was like really short. It's like you have to go fast. If you take too long, you're there's like I think there's a time limit. If you fail that time limit, then that's it. But also, you'd have to go pretty fast because like the I don't know. And blow up those. Wow. Like, it, it was weird. You had to. Wow. Back? That was weird. Never knew that happened. Ah. Die. Die. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I almost shot him. That was in bed. Ah. Get the gun out of my face. Soap. Your soap, soap McTavish. Ow, get here. Let me reload while I'm running. Guys, got me. It's not like there's gonna be any enemies or something. Oh, Jesus, you just went through a barrel. Oh, perfect. Perfect amount. Ow. I'm getting hit by falling to debris. Uh huh, I have a higher sensitivity than you. Is that an enemy? That is an enemy. <laughs> Am I going? Okay, I'll make sure I'm going right now. Oh, grabs that bomb. You dropped the bomb on me. You dropped the bomb on me. Ah! I'm being hurt by fallen debris. Or debris, as you some people call it. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Just drop the rope. Let's go. Let's go. Go, go. Ugh. 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 That was intense. Man. I don't think anything happens here. I think this is read it. It's just that. And then you just gotta read it. Prince George's County 
residents are instructed to go directly to the health station health department at 147 Kirkwood Avenue. Pickups every 15 minutes from Community College campus in University Town. Emergency evacuation in progress. Head immediately to your nearest emergency service shelter. Troops will be there to meet you. Bring a photo ID and no more than one baggage item per person. Be aware of your surroundings. Remain alert. That's it. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that video or uh, mission. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and stay froggy for the next part. I think it's mission number six of Act Two, or it's the new act, but uh Oh yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Yes, yeah, Act Two. Alright. Stay froggy.